Hey everybody, this is Little Green Kitty with the Daily Greens. I'm going to show you our yield curve rate update for the day. We're going to try to do these every so often. You can find a link to the chart itself in the description below. You can also find a link to our website, thedailygreens.org, in the description below. I will be showing you how to navigate to the chart from our website, so that way it might be easier for you in the future if you would like to try to navigate to it and find it instead of having to go back to this video. All right, so if you go to thedailygreens.org, you'll come across this website. On the top menu bar here, under More, hit Resources. We be taken to our resources page. You can also find the link and any other links that we use in videos in our video citation section. If we scroll down here to Treasury Department. We're going to click on Website. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Let's click on data. Okay. Daily Treasury Yield Curve Rates. You see there's real yield curve rates as well. We're going to click on the top one. I'm not going to go too in depth into this. I am not a financial expert by any means. I highly suggest that you look up other YouTubers. You do research. You do a whole bunch of stuff to be able to pay attention to these things. Yield curve rates by themselves do not necessarily mean like, hey, recession tomorrow or hey, the sky is going to be raining gold tomorrow. Okay, it's an indicator like a lot of other things. All right, so let's look at these numbers here. What we're going to be looking at are the differences between the month numbers and then the higher year numbers. So the basic idea of this is that it should be more secure to loan the country money in the short term than in the long term because you don't know so much what's going to happen in the long term you more know what's going to happen in the short term so there's more risk in the long term at least from my understanding now uh, in recessions in the past the yield curve has inverted meaning that these numbers for the months are higher than the numbers for the years over here so that means that it was seen as riskier to borrow or lend money in the short term to the government than in the long term okay so that out of the way let's look down here you can see we do have some slight inversions and you might have seen and heard about recently in the news people talking about the yield curve inversion but they're saying it's fine it's fine it's just a little toe it just did a little a little dipsy daisy it's all good it's all gravy baby the economy's going great bull market bull market all right so let's look at 2019 just to get an idea of where we're at for the year and again just to point out some of the numbers we see like 242 here 231 231 240 so you can see there's a little bit discrepancy there if we go to the year 2019 as a whole you can see through here and I don't remember the exact dates but that's why I'm showing you this chart so that you can look through it and you can see exactly when these inversions happen and you'll see them happening periodically and then it will go back all right so that's what people are saying it's fine it's not a big deal it's all good see like 244 221 223 231 not a big deal because it goes back so let's look at an earlier time period the most recent recession was in 2007 I believe is when it technically started so let's look at 2006 and you can obviously see a difference in the numbers between now 
and back then these are you know all fours and getting up to the fives versus right now we're at you know twos and threes so interest rates were a lot higher if we scroll down we'll start seeing some inversions popping up scroll down boop 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 and here we go here's where it's starting see 515 498 and it's like I mean I was scrolling and I wasn't I was looking at the numbers obviously but it just it just sneaks up on you and then it goes away and things go you know kind of more back to normal-ish and then they invert again and then you can see it keeps going on like that okay so let's look at 2000 oops touchpad mouses do not like me all right, let's go to 2007 and look at that quick. And you'll see something else happen fairly quickly. The interest rates will drop. Why do interest rates drop? Why do they go down? And what effect during a recession, this is what I'm trying to get at, during a recession, what kind of effect does dropping interest rates do? All right, so thank you for joining me. And if you're interested in this, I would suggest you go check out the Money GPS here on YouTube. He has very good comprehensive videos if you're new to the whole financial realm, if you don't understand the jargon, you can go watch his videos and they're very, very comprehensive. He has them all laid out. He also has books and web classes, I believe, very well put together. The Money GPS. Go check him out. Highly recommend. All right, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Be sure to check us out on thedailygreens.org. It will be linked in the description box below along with our other links and along with a link to this chart as well. Thank you so much and you'll have a wonderful day.